President B's first video, six million or three million. President B's compromise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, why am I? Why am I ever getting? Uh, right now, we're gonna we're gonna move into uh, not unserious political commentary, but finally some serious political commentary. Okay, there's a lot of people who have run for election in the past, and you know some are great contenders, some are not. But until now, we've never had a guy like Mr. Beast. Here he is, Mr. Beast, on July 6th on this. Uh, incredibly important day that will be remembered throughout American history at 5 a.m. Eastern time. So it's, you know, uh, or Pacific time. So it's 8, 8, 17 a.m. So he time. was in bed waking up. I'm like, yeah. I'm tweeting. I'm president. This. He said, <laughs> if we lower the age to run for president, I'll jump in the race. Who is that addressed to? Like Congress? 612,000. <laughs> yeah. 612,000 people that liked it. Myself included. Now, I wanted to do it publicly because I want to be his labor secretary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that because Twitter removed that you can see likes? So you're like, I want proof of this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's why I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it before everyone could see that I did it. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm putting, I'm throwing my hat in the ring. There's no point to you know endorsing someone in private. No. I, w I yeah. would like to be um the James Jesus Angleton of Mr. Beast CIA. I would yeah. like to be the head of uh, counter espionage. <laughs> yeah. So he wanted to, to lower the age to run for president and he's going to jump in the race. And after uh, a couple days of endless back and forth, people wrote articles on it. You know, of course, like I'm sure there was a Philip DeFranco video on it. You know what I mean? Uh, people were filled in. He came out 11 hours, ago, 11 hours ago this morning, again at 5 a.m. Uh, our time, uh, 8 a.m. his time and tweeted out if i were president i wouldn't care about party lines i just always truly make the american people my number one priority as opposed to other presidents who yep. do care about party lines and don't make the american people his number one priority or rather don't <laughs> claim to do so it, it, does he think he's like the first guy to say this yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's just, it's so i feel like he wouldn't say this unless he thought, wait, how come none of these guys say they care about the American people first? Yeah. For problems I'm ignorant in, I'd have experts from the left and right advise me on them. Dude, this is Barack Obama. Oh my God, yeah, it is. This is Barack this is, Obama. This is really, Mr. Beast is the obungler. <laughs> I could see Obama doing all the Mr. Beast stuff. We got we got a hundred people ages uh, zero through a hundred to sleep in a Costco, <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna make them go on healthcare.gov. Okay, I can't talk. I'm not talking shit here because when he says experts from the left, he means me. Okay, oh, yeah, that's good. So, yeah. Yep. So labor secretary Hassan. Right. Yeah, but then who's on the right? Is me. that is that Stephen Crowder? Like Ben Shapiro. <laughs> ben Shapiro. Okay. Probably. Um, and then try to find the middle ground that's best for America. <laughs> Would it be viable? Don't care about things. That's also what Trump said. <laughs> Don't care about doing things just because my party says I should. And I would focus on uniting the country instead of dividing it. <laughs> Anyways, we can pick this up in 15 years when I'm old enough to run. Ha ha. This is so a bungler. Yeah. Like it, it really, I'm going to focus on uniting the country instead of dividing it. Like even Trump said that. Yeah, yeah like like everyone every, said that. Yeah. Every president has, has said, said that. You know, like I wanna... except for except for Joe Biden, who yeah. who said he's gonna kill every Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Famously, if you listen to Fox and Friends, remember the the famous speech he gave in front of the red lights. Yeah, yeah. like oh. in the or in the earlier uh, stages of his uh, presidency when he like I forget where it was. I think it was in like Philadelphia or something, and the Republicans were like. This 800-year-old fossil fuel is so terrifying. Oh my god! It was he just, just said half the country is going to death camps. <laughs> it was the inverse of when you remember when like Trump would make a speech on a weirdly shaped stage, and people would be like, "It's Himmler's Nordic rune. He's trying to resurrect Hellboy." Yeah. It's like I don't think Trump knows that. Yeah. I don't think I don't think, I don't think oh, Trump yeah. is an expert in like SS occult imagery. His assistants yeah. might be, and then when they're setting up the room, like, <laughs> it's, it's just that always uh, that always was something I joked about because it's like, dude, he's literally saying Hitlerian shit on top of the podium. Like he literally was like. 
we need to kill every immigrant after putting them in concentration camps. And they're like, but do you see the podium? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he, he's really invested in esoteric Nazi runes. Yeah, um, like, like the dog. I love like, it's part of like a larger trend that I'm glad has kind of gone away of like extremism experts where they would be like, look, he's doing dog whistle. And you listen to the speech and he's like, they're filled with diseases they're raping everyone and they're ruining our race yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah that's you're like, like very subtle yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. glad you picked up on that yeah. um so but going back to mr beast because you know donald trump or joe biden is not what we're talking about right now we're talking about president beast okay president donaldson president james jimmy donaldson mr beast um what do we think about this he says uh <laughs> He says he's going to, for problems I'm ignorant in, which means that there's like stuff that he's not uh, ignorant in. He's just being humble. There, yeah, really yeah. Aren't. yeah. He's like, <laughs> she would toss Jimmy around like a chew toy if he became president. <laughs> <laughs> what do you oh. think G would do if you stuck him in a grocery store and said that he can only use items that he can fit in his cart? He'd probably fold instantly. Yeah, he yeah, wouldn't be able to. What do you mean? He actually, he actually was able to, <laughs> he actually was able to to overcome the rural uh, countryside of China in order to rise the power within the ranks of the the Communist Party. So he that could fun. he could overcome the grocery challenge. Is what I'm saying. Now that okay, I think you might have a point that like the challenges could be the American version of the Cultural Revolution. Like if you're in a black category, you have to live in a grocery store. Yeah, American. I like that. I think I like that policy. Yeah, I'm growing to support Mr. Beast now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, it it's cool. It's cool. Uh I think this is wait, by the way, uh he says fifteen years, but he's twenty six years old. What well, I'm so not to be is. fifty. Forty-five. Does he you think? No, you have to be thirty-five. Oh, yeah. So I don't think he knows that. I think he thinks you have to be forty. To I run think he's for just hyping us up for his next video, which is going to be I age fifteen years in a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's doing the reverse. Uh, that guy who's like trying to yeah. unlock by the, by eating Brian. his son's blood or whatever. Brian Taylor Johnson. Yep, Brian Bri Johnson. Brian Johnson. Brian you know, Johnson. Middle name. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's how you've been getting so young. Yeah, <laughs> young and vibrant. Him. I mean, it could be a good thing, though, that he's getting political. I mean, obviously, it could go. It could be good or bad. <laughs> could be but, but it's like, you know. It... President Beast, first video, 6 million or 3 million? President Beast compromise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, why am I why am I advocating for only three million Jews? What is happening? We don't we don't we don't know what it could be three million or six million of anything. Yeah. Okay, no, yeah, no, it yeah. can't. Yeah. A, six million is a very no, no, specific no, no, number, no. Felix. It could be it's any, just double three. Do you believe in this fucking administration or not? <laughs> oh, that's that's ridiculous. Ay ay ay! Oh Jesus. He does. He already kind of has a company in town, so he's 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 there. Oh my God! This is literally like Ford. It's Henry <laughs> Ford. <laughs> it's Henry Ford. Without the fascism. politics, without the fascism, we don't know that yet. Well, he's just. It seems like he's more of a liberal. He's more yeah. of a centrist. Yeah. I mean, like all those conservatives were like, "How come you haven't killed your friend for transition?" Yeah. 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 He's yeah. been like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. What? yeah, he's always that's always funny when he's like <laughs> he's like confused as to how like unimaginably uh hateful people are yeah. um to his lifelong friend. Um after consulting on the experts on the left and right, yeah. I mean th there's no <laughs> I do think that this could be a reality. In the future, oh, yeah, no, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I, just, I think it's more realistic than like The Rock being president. I, we I always are, thought that was overblown. We are devolving, so who knows? Who was the film star that became president? Was that Ronald Reagan. Was Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Reagan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jimmy probably has more fans and followers than him. That's true. Yeah, Reagan wasn't like Reagan was in movies where like his co-star was the monkey. He wasn't <laughs> yeah. like he wasn't like you know Clark Gable or someone. Like, no one, I don't even know if there's, like, a modern equivalent to what kind of an actor Reagan was. Zachary Levy. He was, like, if Zachary Levy became president. Like George of the Jones? I feel like it's only going to work on, like, an international wave. He needs his, like, Margaret Thatcher, 
like KSI person in the UK. The new wave of neoliberalism. <laughs> uh, yeah. He, if even half his audience able to vote, I mean, yeah, that's they will be. That's well, maybe that's why he's saying fifteen years. Because yeah. like, I'm sure. How many people <laughs> voted in America? Um, I'm pretty sure they're all in the group. Sixty like, uh, percent, right? Sixty. Oh, so the last election, I think, it was what something like 150 to 160 million. Like yeah, but that country? was that was like super high in comparison yeah. to because it, it was like. It, it, they, we had universal mail-in ballots. That's why, like, so many undocumented immigrants voted illegally for Joe Biden, See, myself included. Authoritarian Australia, and we have to vote. It's mandatory. Yeah. yeah, it's compulsory. Yeah. Um, except you know, you guys can you guys get the day off and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Even so, people with jobs can vote. That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> which is you know kind of kind of important. You can't just like <laughs> you can't just be like, oh, it's a, it's an extra challenge. And, and you get a free fucking hot dog. Yeah, that's Wait, really? Stuff. Sausage nice. sizzle. Well, what in America, if you did that, it's called electioneering. So it's illegal. You're bribing people. Yeah, they'd say you're bribing people to vote. What if you just put it on the ground and you walk away and you'd be like, they don't know who put the hot dog there. You know? <laughs> I think <laughs> free, free food. Well, that sounds like a beautiful tradition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like a Mr. Beast video as well. <laughs> <laughs> free glizzies for everybody who votes for Mr. Beast. All right. Oh. Well, that's it. Mr. Beast is running for president. So one of the most popular YouTubers in the world, Mr. Beast, explained what he would do if he was elected President of the United States. Many people criticize Mr. Beast for not picking a side and saying he will always find the middle ground. The responses to this somewhat naive presidential bid from a popular content creator has sparked widespread ridicule online. Many have posed straightforward questions like what's the middle ground between universal healthcare and no universal healthcare? Or what's the compromise between LGBTQ rights and denying them? Some of his supporters have suggested maintaining the status quo or avoiding change altogether, inadvertently illustrating why centrism can be seen as ineffective. Reading his plan as if it were penned and narrated by a politically naive 9-year-old is not only humorous but strangely coherent. It almost has a charming innocence. It's amusing how Mr. B seems to perceive both political extremes as equally populated by experts and good-hearted individuals. Anyways, we can pick this up in 15 years when I'm old enough to run. Ha ha. Mr. Beast playfully teased on Twitter. Notably, he refrained from aligning with any specific party, presumably to avoid alienating his diverse fan base. It's not surprising that someone as influential as Mr. Beast would consider a presidential run, especially amid discussions about replacing Biden after his lackluster debate performance last month. Mr. Beast has a knack for riding trends. Still, it's a curious reality. When one might prefer a hypothetical zombie Biden over Mr. Beast as a candidate. Now let's see if someone can cox Ninja into outlining his presidential platform on Twitter. It could give us a glimpse of future electoral chances in about a decade, when these popular creators are eligible to run and their followers can vote. Or perhaps climate change will render such speculation smooth. Let's remain hopeful. If you found this video interesting, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.